Howdy everyone. This is Manic Mark coming to you from Manic Mark's Kitchen. Today I'm listening to, um, been influenced by uh, Atomic Zombie Sal to make pancakes. And while I'm making pancakes, well Manic Mark is going to make pancakes, he's listening to um, Sal's um, Christmas CD. Which by the way was quite a production. Not only has he printed up fabulous uh, covers for the CD artwork, he printed a label that makes the CD look like a record. And in, 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 in addition to that, he's got a shrink wrap machine. I can't believe it. <laughs> it's like he thought of everything. It's amazing. Okay, so, but, you know, the, prob the problem is I just, I, I've got what I've got here in the Manic Mark kitchen, and <laughs> what I've got, if you remember a number of videos ago, I bought this. This six pound, 12.5 ounce bag of what I thought were cookies. You know, because I picked it up like this in Sam's. I just saw sugar cookies here. Sugar cookies, I picked it up. I just thought it was a bag of sugar cookies. Oh, well, people say, well, six pounds bag of sugar. I can't, you can't, you must know. I don't know, I just pick stuff up. I don't know my own strength. But then I got it home and opened it up and realized it was just a bag of freaking flour and you had to make your own cookies. <laughs> Which I don't. I, if I can't put it in the... I mean, I can probably cook, but I don't. I put it in the microwave, whatever. And so, but this is what I've got to work with. So I'm going to make crusty AZ, crusty AZ pancakes. I, it's just going to be, it's just going to be what I'm going to do here. So I'm not at all prepared. I'm going to have to edit this. I don't have any idea. I'm probably going to need an egg and some oil. I don't. I don't have any buttermilk or anything good like that. I just got. I've got whole milk, regular. It's not whole milk. What do they call it? Whole milk. It's not whole milk because they. I. I was raised. I, we drank milk straight from the cow when I grew up. Okay, and I didn't start drinking fake milk until I was turned 19. You know, I went. I left the nest and went away. How much of what do I put in there? How much of this? A cup? Should I use a cup? One cup. Uh, my cup thing is behind this. I gotta move this. Uh, cup of crusty AZ. Now what I'm gonna need? Probably an egg. I gotta probably put an egg in that, I guess. Just going for memory. Let's put a little oil in there. That was too much, but what the hell. Okay. Um, here's the thing before you mix this up. You just think I'm being silly here, right? Well, I'm not. No, I'm not. Ow! Damn it! What I'm doing here, though, is I'm looking at the ingredients. There's sugar. The main ingredient is sugar in this bag of flour, by the way. Then you've got the fake flour, and that's it. It's frickin' flour and sugar. That's okay, because I don't have any maple syrup, so I'm gonna rely on the, the sugar in this to make whatever it is that comes out sweet. So, what are we gonna add into it to make, um, to, to, to to make it, I don't know what. I'm just thinking. This is not this. It's not a vanilla bottle, but I put vanilla in this bottle so I could use an eyedropper. Black pepper. There it is. I'm looking for the cinnamon. That in there. Cinnamon can't hurt anything. That looks way too, that's way too runny. What did I do wrong? Can they're way too runny, something's wrong. I don't know what's wrong. Pancakes have been converted into everything. I'm just not being silly about that. Oh, also with this video today, I'm gonna to present um, a 10 year old painting. Not 10 years, it'd be nine years. Nine year old painting. And uh, why I don't wanna change it, that I like it. I'm gonna present that. 
Howdy, this is Manic Mark, your real fake outsider artist, coming to you after breakfast. My, that was yummy. From the bunker system located underneath the art villa, found somewhere in the jungles of the Midwest. And the rest of this video, the second half of this video, is this painting here. I'm uh, going to just quickly talk about this painting. As I took the clown painting upstairs with the action audience, and I liked it, so I hung it up. And, I... and there are more... Mystic Manic Mark needs to answer a couple of questions. I gotta go write the questions down, go down in the bunker where it's nice and warm. <laughs> this poor cat. It's the Manic Mark. Mystic Manic Mark answers serious questions seriously segment of this video. <laughs> and here's the Manic Mark Mystic Cat, which he'll, he'll get knocked on the floor at some point. <laughs> okay, um, we've got two questions to answer today. And the first question comes from uh, a viewer who will call Inferior Buffon. And we'll, we'll present answers. Mystic Mark will answer the questions that need to be answered seriously. All right, there you go. I'm still thinking this is too rainy. I kind of let it sit a little bit to soak up the everything in here. And I, this is not, I'm going to have to put more flour in it or something. What do I got? I don't really want to put more cookie flour in it. Uh, I swapped the clown painting out for that, for this one. I'll put this one up on the screen. There it is. One, two, three, four, and we're back. And the, the reason I'm showing this is because I've still got it and it's 10 years old. This year it will be 10 years old. Um, no, I'm sorry, nine years old. I painted it in 2002. What, what, what's, the, what's the difference between pancake, pancake and waffle flour and any other kind of flour? Probably that the sugar, that's what the problem is. It's the sugar. I'm trying to think what would make this special. Now it's starting to thicken up a little bit. I put some regular flour in it. Signed on the back, dated. I stopped dating stuff because <laughs> I'm always working on it until it leaves the house, you know, and I'm always painting over the date and putting the new date on the last rework. But in this case, um, I left it alone, and I just wanted, again, you know, I've talked about this on many occasions, but I wanted to talk about it again. A painting that I did uh, nine years ago that I liked well enough just to leave it alone. Now it's, and, the, and the reason it is is because it's a, this, there's this, the spot, there's this there's a certain amount of spontaneity in it that I like. And as you can see, in... Uh, uh, ten, nine, or ten years, and, and longer that I've been doing this, I have it. Nothing. I have changed. My style hasn't changed. I've been very consistent in my vision, <laughs> more or less. I could chop a date up. That would be good. That's got to be way a lot of pancakes. It's got these nice dates. Sam. Sam has dates. What? Why? What? How do they choose what they? Freeze your date to make it easier to dice her up. Now, I'm not, I'm not sure about the consistency of this. And this question it goes like this. All the ladies at church have bigger beehive hairdos than me. And it is making me crushingly self-conscious. Do you have any hints or tips on making my beehive better? A better beehive? Well, in fact, I do. I've, I've tried to refine it, um, but the, the, the messages and the, and the vision and the, the, the basic rudimentary um, uh, feel, vibe, if you will, to my style is still there. And this was painted shortly after I quit a um, uh, corporate job I had, and I was pretty... I, there were two things that amazed me about a corporate job, is what it, it, people... You, you, you spent like two hours a day working out of your eight or ten hour day, whatever you work. You would spend two hours working and you'd spend the rest of the time like fending off other people that worked at the corporation and politics and tr trying to figure out how you could maneuver. And for me, it was never to, I didn't want to maneuver like many people did up the ladder. I could care, I could have cared less about that. I wouldn't have nothing to do with those people. 
I hope I don't need any maple syrup because I don't have any maple syrup. And you can use like imitation like caro syrup or anything like that. That's... Ugh. First of all, where the hell are my books? I got to go to the books on this one. And I, I meant to research this ahead of time. How am I going to find anything in here just off the cuff? This is not good. But I have understanding as well as you. I am not inferior to you. Who does not know such things as these? I am a laughingstock to my friends. I who called upon God, and he answered me, just a just and, and blameless man, I am a laughingstock. I don't, I don't care for that. So I guess there's two ways, to, and many people approach it that way. Well, if I work hard, they'll notice me. Well, I don't think so. It's, it's, I guess it's possible if you're cheerful and you work hard that, that keep the man off your back. But in a creative position, in, in, a, in, a, in a working with other creative people, it, it's what you do is so abstract. And people always comparing you to like um, somebody else that they like or somebody else that's working in a different set of circumstances that's producing um, work that they think is better than yours and that you should be doing that quality of work or better inside the circumstances that you're working at like in the you know they've got you in a cesspool and you should be painting the Mona Lisa I've got some cream cheese here some Philadelphia whipped cheese cream cheese spread I bet that would be like bring the sugary part down a little bit like maybe I'll put some of this in here I think that describes your problem from the, the New Testament, this book I've got in the house. But if it does, if, if that doesn't help you as a church-going lady with a hair a hair problem, I'm just going to suggest that you go out and buy hair extensions, which I think you can um, find at any um, good uh, novelty shop. Uh, you can buy a wig or something like that. Cut that wig up, and what you're going to need is something lightweight that you can put on top of your head as a form. In this case, I've got a cranberry jug, but um, you, could, you could use any tall, lightweight object that you can put on top of your head. And or there's a, a, a spray foam that comes in cans that you can, you can you know, just create a shape by just spraying it on top of your head. After you do that, take the hair extensions, which you have um, cut apart from a wig that you can buy at um, any good novelty shop. Any, in any shade of color that you want. Take construction cement and glue the hair extensions onto the form that you created on top of your head. I'm telling you what, the ladies at church are going to notice you. There's no doubt. A couple dollops. Maybe three dollops. Of whipped cream cheese in there. Oh man, this is gonna be so good. I'm am feeling it now. I'm feeling like I got everything just about right. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's, it's it was so abstract. It's not like you're in an in a, in a, in a, in a, uh, assembly line stamping things out and everything has to be exactly alike. It's not a job like that that you, where you can have really defined unless you win a few you know win a few awards or something like that. But that's even difficult. Uh, when you're strapped in a job with a lot of other uh, responsibilities that you have no time really to uh, create something that wows, you know, management. I digress. I'm going to cut most of that out because this video is going to be way too long. <laughs> Another viewer who refers to himself as Charlie left this comment which is I have a wild hair up my ass what should I do well Charlie this is a difficult question to answer one because I, I have no idea I really what kind of hair you're talking about is this like a wild hair that you'd find out you know side hopping around your house do you have one of those up your ass or is this an ingrown hair like a human hair that you have up your ass, or you, were you speaking figuratively, as as if you 
had some no notion to do something and you were not quite sure whether or not you should do it and you're asking Mystic Manic Mark for permission to go ahead and and live out the, the wild haired notion that apparently is stuck up your ass. She had a broad face and a little round belly. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. So that's that that's what that's basically based on business, big business and the animals in the business going for the gold, which is in this case is the meat, and everybody pretends they're happy as hell, right, when they're working for a corporate company. But uh, I would say 90% of the people that are working for a corporation are probably just afraid uh, all the time and miserable. <laughs> um, Stomp and Howlin', I don't know, off the top of my head I can't think of a Charlie Patton song, but he's been working on it, right? He's saying, mm, man, pancakes. If there's any left for me, I like a piece. Mm, right? Pancakes. <laughs> you know, um, with that with that thing in the back of their head, which is I'm lucky to have a, have a have a job, you know, and you tell yourself that just so you can get up and go to work the next day. I'm telling you, and it's just business. It's all just no matter what happens, no matter who gets screwed or, uh, you know, and and I can't blame. The, these are just. This is just human nature. Corporations are an, like a person, but much, much larger than a person. So they're they're fraught with uh, the same um, woe and misery that, that that affects human beings, you know. And then the next step up is government. I have no idea. If you have a wild hair up your ass, but you know, get that on YouTube because that's going to be a, a medical weird thing, and I think you can get a lot of hits on it. Um, otherwise. It got kind of lumpy. And, oh, born to manage. That, that's, that's an interesting quote that I wrote on this. And that comes from a guy that they stuck back in my department. I think because he was, he was such a go-getter that he was very annoying, okay? Lumps. Um, I suggest taking some kind of sharp instrument and probing for, for the wild hair that's maybe ingrown, um, sometimes it helps if you um, call up a close friend to come over because it's very difficult to bend over and look at yourself in a mirror. Thing. I should probably put this on to help speed it up. Um, you know, a suit and tie type. I mean, it was. Uh, painfully apparent that he wanted to do the, climb the ladder and he would do whatever he had to do to do it and people knew that so what did they do with him? They stuck him back to work in my department where of course he he started to work his management magic. <laughs> Let it go a little bit longer before I flip it. I don't want to flip anything prematurely. I'd rather not be premature about my flipping with a knife or a pair of scissors or sometimes a power drill will help because you can usually use that with one hand. It might take two hands to operate any other kind of tool. And the third thing, well, Manic, Mystic Manic Mark can take legal responsibility to give you permission to act on, out, out on the wild hair notion that it, it, that is up your ass. <laughs> on me and the people around me, which was, didn't of course work because we knew better. So, but anyway, I did have a serious conversation with him one day about managing, you know, and I said, I have no desire whatsoever to move higher than what I am now. And he's like, well, I was born to manage. I love to manage people, but didn't have any... I know my boundaries here as a mystic on the uh, Mystic Mark um, uh, personal questions answered s seriously um, sh show, the vice show. But I do appreciate your question and I hope you get that worked out and I'm, and I'm sure you will. And sometimes it's just a matter of time. I must say with all these questions that people are asking me, it's really just a matter of time. You shouldn't be really so concerned with all these problems because they eventually just go. Should have been paying attention to what I was doing. That one got kind of burnt. It 
never had anything to do with managing people. It has to do with power and control and money. Don't you think for an instant that he wanted to manage people to make the company, he would endeavor to make the company a better place, I think, simply so that he can gain more power and money, but it had nothing to do with the, 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 an honest attempt, attempt to make employees feel in, included in the, in the process of making a better, creating a better organization that would work, function better give employees a, p a place to apply their energies in a positive manner. I'm not kidding when I say this, but this is like I should, salt. I needed, they needed a little salt. This is damn good, frankly. I don't even think it eats butter. A little bit hot. The toy shop door is locked up tight and everything is quiet for the night when mm. suddenly the clock strikes twelve. I didn't burn it. That crunchy part's good. Figure it out for yourself. I've gone way over my maybe I did maybe I went to fifteen minutes today. It's very possible I've gone to fifteen minutes today. So this could be a, a, another manic mark another manic mark grand first. <laughs> in his effort to even further reduce uh, viewership. Mmm. This is really good. I expected it to be horrible, but it's not. Huh. Mm. Thumbs up. Well, I'm just going to finish up the making the rest of the, rest of the mixture here. It looks like there's enough for about four pancakes, whatever I did. A cup of uh, sugar cookie flour. And I'll add a little flour in the, in the refrigerator. I put that in there, that thickened it up. Some sour cream. Uh, cinnamon. And I could, should have put some salt in it, an egg, milk, a cup of milk and egg. Then it just worked out great. Well, let's go talk about paintings and, and everything else now. All right, this next group that we're going to bring on tonight, the Singing Ritchie family from Blanchard, Oklahoma, has sang throughout this great country of ours, from the East Coast to the West Coast, plus many foreign countries. Their ministry has touched thousands and thousands of lives. And I know that you're going to enjoy their singing and their ministry tonight as we present to you now the Singing Ritchie family from Blanchard, Oklahoma. Let's make them welcome. Bye. 